Hey guys, Zot here and welcome to another edition to our first look series. A series in which we jump onto the beta and take a look at some of the most impactful changes affecting PvP with the Shadowlands release. Before we get started though, if you're as excited for Shadowlands as we are here at Skillcapped, then make sure to throw this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more up-to-date BFA and Shadowlands content. Okay then, so as you probably guessed from the title, we're going to be taking a look at Fort Steel. Currently, in its current form, this is set to be without a doubt the most powerful ability added to the game for some time now. Fort Steel is an honor talent available to all three priest specs, so Shadow, Holy and Discipline priests all have access to this ability. The tooltip reads, peer into the mind of the enemy, attempting to steal a known spell. If stolen, the victim cannot cast that spell for 20 seconds, being instant cast, costing a small amount of mana and having a 1.5 minute cooldown. Whilst a little vague, how this ability actually works is sort of a druid symbiosis meets dark sim. However, only are usable on classes that use mana. So things like warriors, DKs, DHs, hunters, and rogues, you cannot utilize fort steel on. Whilst you have the spell stolen, the enemy is unable to cast the spell themselves, so for 20 seconds, you've essentially locked them out on that one specific spell. As you can see with my mage here, once my polymorph gets stolen, it's replaced on my bars. Whilst this is probably a placeholder for now, you can see when I look to use the spell, I get an animation above my head. Alright, so as mentioned, Fort Steel is sort of like the old symbiosis. You steal a set spell from every class or spec, and then have access to that spell for 20 seconds. So let's take a look at what abilities each class gives you. Starting off with Druid, all three Druid specs will reward you with Rejuvenation. Whilst this may not seem that strong, remember you are able to spam this, whilst your opponent loses all access. And as we know, Rejuve is core to a Restoration Druid's healing rotation, and not being able to use it for 20 seconds could set them heavily behind. Not to mention Disc and Holy Priest can still Rejuve for an extra healing over time effect to their kit. If only it was Cyclone though. Mage is where we get to see why Fort Steel has the potential to be the strongest ability in the game. And that's because from all three Mage specs, you steal Polymorph. Now, just let that sink in. This gives Shadow, Holy and Disc the ability to cast Polymorph. Imagine Shadow Priest being able to stun your healer into a silence, into a psychic scream, and then follow it up with a polymorph. Yeah, see what I mean. Or you queue up some 2v2 as a mage and meet Rogue Priest, with them stealing your polymorph and spam polymorph in your healer. And that's just covering the offensive potential of this spell. You can completely shut down a mage's setup by removing his ability to cast polymorph, a core CC for him, for 20 seconds when you're in trouble. Moving on to monks now, you're able to steal from mist weavers only, and the spell you get is renewing mist. Overall, this one isn't too great. Renewing Mist is strong, but only when paired up with Counteract Magic, something you won't have when you steal this ability. And removing Renewing Mist from a monk for 20 seconds isn't really that impactful. Although you gain an extra hot, I just don't see this ever being worth taking for a monk. All three Shaman specs give you Frost Shock. Again, nothing too impactful in terms of removing it from the Shaman. But with all three Priest specs lacking any slows, stealing Frost Shock could be nice for helping secure Psychic Screams, or just chasing enemies in regards to Shadow. But honestly, I can't see you ever taking Fort Steel to use specifically for a Shaman. Paladin is another big one, at least in my opinion, as you steal Hand of Freedom. All three Priest specs lack any form of slow removal, and will give them some great added mobility. You can use it to secure Psychic Screams, combine it with Feathers or Greater Fade to kite melee, or even give it to your teammates to help with uptime. Overall, I can see this getting some good use. Although removing freedom from a rep for 20 seconds seems pretty satire, I can't see it being too impactful overall, unless being used at exactly the right time. You will be able to get two uses for the duration of the Fort Steel buff though. Moving on to Priest now, all three specs give you something different. Starting with Shadow, they will give you Vampiric Touch. 
this isn't really something worth stealing in my eyes, but could lead to some really annoying gameplay with enemy priests dispelling Vampiric Touch and then making you unable to use it for 20 seconds so you cannot reapply it. As for just stealing Vampiric Touch though, the damage isn't great for Holy and Disc, and obviously, if you're Shadow, you already have it anyway. Holy Priests give you Renew. With Renew being an incredibly weak heal to begin with, I can't see this ever being utilised. Holy has many other ways of healing, and gaining or denying Renew will never be worth taking Fort Steel for. Disc Priests, you get Penance. Again, a little better than Renew in some situations, giving Shadow some damage or healing on the Holy School, or just as a way to remove Penance from Disc. But again, I can't see Fort Steel ever being taken to utilise on any three of the Priest specs. Leaving us with one last class. Warlock. From all three Warlock specs you still fear. This is one of the big ones. Despite already having Psychic Scream, this gives Priests the ability to get a long range, casted fear with no cooldown. So you can sit there for 20 seconds and pretend you're a Warlock, spam fear into Peel, or utilising it to fear healers to create some insane setups. Also, removing fear from a Warlock for 20 seconds is the biggest thing here. Imagine you're playing Rogue Mage, and during your team's setup you still fear. Not only can you utilise it offensively, but it renders the Warlock unable to peel for 20 seconds. Alright then guys, so that's Fort Steel. I'm personally, as a Priest player, more excited for this ability than any other addition to the new expansion so far. The potential to steal Polymorph or Fear is just insane to me, and in its current state, Fort Steel is looking to be one of the strongest abilities in the game. So, what do you guys think? Is this a fresh new addition that's going to be fun to play with or against, or is it just way too overpowered? Let us know what you think in the comments. But for now, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you would like to be updated the second we release any new content.